Hey guys, hope you all have been doing great. And welcome to Nothing Geek TV. And today I have HTC Desire 820s. It's a dual SIM ver version of uh, the 820 Desire smartphone, which was launched in 2014, uh, September, October month. And uh, today we'll be seeing how the phone uh, performs in the benchmarks. Uh, for that, I have already run three benchmarks on the phone. But before that, I'd like to show you some info about this phone. Now the specs are more or less exactly the same like the HTC Desire 8. So the specs of uh, the Desire 820 and 820s are pretty much similar except for the fact that this phone got a single 8 core processor and the Desire 820 had two quad core chip processors. So the phone is running on Android KitKat 4.4.4 operating system. Uh, HD display 13 megapixel rear camera the RAM is 2 GB the total storage space available to the users is around 12 GB I have installed some apps so it is showing 10 GB all in all 16 GB of inbuilt storage uh, on which you can mount the SD card the CPU is a 64 bit type CPU 8 cores like I already told you it's showing screen size 3.7 inch it's strong it's a 5.5 inch display the density is 320 uh, DPI and uh, now let me show you the multi-touch so it is a five point multi-touch on the phone uh, 8 megapixel front facing camera and uh, now let's come to the uh, sensors this phone support so we have direction sensor acceleration sensor light sensor e-compass and proximity sensor so these five sensors are supported we really require the other uh, sensors mentioned over here so let's see what uh, N2 benchmark uh, gives it. It's a score of 44,592, which is a remarkable score, guys. Now let's see how this phone uh, stands against other devices. So the phone is rang alongside uh, OnePlus One. I'm saying alongside because uh, there isn't much of a difference. It is ranked above HTC One, M8, Xiaomi Mi 4, Samsung Galaxy S5, Xiaomi Mi 3, LG Google Nexus 5 or we call it LG Nexus 5 and other handsets uh, one plus uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 Meizu MX4 these are the devices which is faster than this phone so this phone got really awesome power uh, it, it's great when it comes to uh, power uh, let's check out other benchmarks too so this is the geek bench benchmark Single core score 812 and a multi core score of 3951. Single core score uh, uh, these days it, come, it comes into play a very less amount of time, but then again, you can't just ignore it. So the phone is below Moto X, uh, LG Nexus 5, Samsung Gal Nexus 10, and other devices. You might be wondering, uh, it is also below Samsung Galaxy S5 because it's a single uh, processor. Uh, it's a uh, ARM MT6752 processor which is a bit older uh, uh, and not too fast but when we combine the all 8 cores we have a score of 3951 and this is the score to look upon because uh, most of the times multiple cores will be coming into play so this score surpasses every device is listed on uh, Geekbench 3 however I'm sure there must there are many div more devices like S, Samsung Galaxy S, S6, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and OnePlus One 2 who might surprise uh, this score easily now uh, we are up sitting above Samsung Galaxy S5, Amazing Kindle Fire, LG Nexus 5 and Samsung Galaxy S4 so again a really solid benchmark scores finally I'll show you the Velamo benchmark what does it have to say so it is also giving it a multi-core score of 1829 and the phone is ranked uh, above one plus one not exactly above one plus one it is quite similar to one plus one what we had in nt2 uh, benchmark and other benchmarks it is just below hgc1 m8 this is again in sync with the other what others benchmarks had to say and uh, it is above LG G3 and a OnePlus One and in fact also Samsung Galaxy S5 so all three benchmarks are in sync here they are saying the same thing the phone is really good when it comes to performance the 8 cores and 2 GB of RAM uh, powering this phone uh, to provide you enough uh, uh, power with uh, uh, 
uh, when it comes to multitasking and heavy gaming uh, thanks for watching the video and if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button i'll be coming out with an in-depth review of this phone gaming review of this phone and its comparison with the devices don't miss out on those have a great day bye bye